And, you know, this is a very important point in reference to the difference of people. Or, you know, the history of things. In reference to you claiming you thought you were trying to put me in the mass numbers of common people or something. You know, there's common people that are wonderful. But this is about specifics. This is about billions and trillions of dollars that these people are trying to steal from me. Who do you think I am, government man? What class do you come from thinking you were going to downgrade me and my family history and education? Who do you think you are? Where would you come from? We need to see your credentials and your education. We need a brain scan on you, too, to see if you thought you were so smart. We need your x-rays, too, in the courtroom, government man. You thought just being some smart-ass profiler, making up lies. Maybe you got bad eyesight. I've been a supermodel my whole life, and you caused damage to my face and teeth. I've had damage on my face before from government. There's even Supreme Court documents that say, don't let anybody damage any parts of my anatomy from any government branch or anything. Meaning you have to maintain, in reverence to the Treasury and the Supreme Court, was supposed to watch their own people so they didn't try to hurt me. And particulars of any person in bad government. Plus other acknowledgments in reference to Treasury status or laws of Elliot Ness. So in reference to who you are, government man, we need you to put it on paper what you think I am, who you think I am, where you think I came from, and what kind of education do you think I have. And the universities possibly want to know, why is your government man stealing all those scholarships that they tried to send to me? And other letters and documents, government man. You're a real smart ass, aren't you? You're a dime a dozen, man. It's what somebody might say in reference to the type of criminals you are in government. 